Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is part of the look for less challenge. It is essentially a high-end decor that we created on a budget. Let's go ahead and get started. Dupe number one. I saw this beautiful candle holder at Harvard's and look at the price, $79.99. I knew immediately I could have created for way less and I'm going to show you how. I'm going to take this cutting board from the Dollar Tree, then part of the embroidery hoop, then two large dowels also from the Dollar Tree and three lids from the tins that I had in my home. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take this wood tint by Falkart in a color gray and I'm going to give several coats to this uh, cutting board and this is totally optional. I went with my own um, color scheme but you can definitely recreate this piece completely. Um, after I was done with that, I am taking dowels and I'm measuring out how much I need to cut and I used my miter saw to cut all these pieces. After I cut them out, I went ahead and sanded the edges a little bit. I wanted them, of course, to be nice and smooth. I used the sanding block from the Dollar Tree. Then I'm going to do the same thing that with these wood dowels using the wood tint. When everything was stained and dried, I'm going to go ahead and use a hot glue to attach uh, these wood dowels in a position like it was shown on a picture. Okay, when that was done, I'm going to go ahead and take my cutting board that's now dried. And I, uh, before I glue it down, I realized that this embroidery hoop actually has one part that it's sticking out. So I took a little piece of um, uh, craft stick to put it right there on the bottom to be flushed uh, with that part that's sticking out. And that way will adhere better to my cutting board. Using a hot glue, I attached uh, it to the board. Then I'm taking my lids and I'm using this Martha Stewart chalk paint in a color white, in a color gray, and then also this uh, pavement acrylic paint. It is like dark, dark gray, and I'm just kind of dabbing it on, making it lightly galvanized. And then I'm using a hot glue to attach them onto the dowels. Now, uh, for the purpose of this video, I use a hot glue, even though my hot glue is pretty strong. If you want to recreate this, you should definitely make a combination of hot glue and some stronger glue. And this is how it turned out. I really love this one. This one is so different than any other candle holder that I had in my house or ever created. And it was so easy to make and very, very inexpensive. I love it, but I, as always, I would like to hear uh, what do you guys think about this one. Now let's see how I did. So theirs was $79.99 and mine was only $2. What do you think? This Look for Less Challenge is hosted as always by Yami, uh, the Latina next door. I'm pretty sure you all know who she is, but if you don't, I'm going to have her channel linked in the description box. Go ahead and check her out. She is amazing, so talented and has great, great ideas that always turned out so high end and beautiful. And above all that, she is the sweetest person ever. So also beside her channel, I'm going to have uh, the playlist linked in the description box so you can see what everybody else created. Alrighty, dupe number two. I saw these three piece candle holders from Wayfair and it was $65.99. Of course, I knew I could recreate it for way less. I recreated only one, but of course, um, you know, the same way you can re recreate the rest of them. I'm taking this plastic uh, cup then also this uh, small jar candle holder, whatever it is called, a uh, glass one. And this is the bottom of the crochet from the Dollar Tree. And now I'm going to go ahead and assemble it using my hot glue. Again, if you want a stronger hold, you can com make a combination with some stronger glue as well. Um, so on the bottom is a plastic cup, then the glass, then the uh, that black um plastic piece and then I decided to take uh, another lid to put inside of that bottom part of the crochet um, that way it will have something to hold the candle holder or actually candle uh, on it. Now that everything is nice and secured I'm going to take the Adirondack white chalk paint by Falkart and give it one good coat. When it was dried this is how it looks like now I'm going to go with the chippy brush from the Dollar Tree and Martha Stewart gray chalk paint and I'm going to distress it. So I'm going all over and just distressing it with my chippy brush. After um, that was done, 
this is the result. Now I'm taking the fall card antique wax um, and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. When I was done distressing this, this is the result. Now I am taking the baby wipe and I'm going to go ahead and kind of smudge it all over. I didn't want the brush strokes to be so visible. I wanted it to be more like inspiration piece. So I'm kind of blending it all together. And also I'm going back with a gray paint and dabbing it on a little bit, smudging it more. And I did the same thing with white as well until I achieved this look. Now that I have this, that is it for this project. Look how easy it was to make. I mean, I had everything on hand. Um, I always save all kinds of lids and all kinds of things that I think I might use. And I think it looks so beautiful. I love the simplicity of it. And I think it can be used anywhere in the house. It is just so beautiful. Tell me in the comments down below, what's your thought about this one? And now let's go ahead and see how I did. So theirs was $65.99 for three pieces and mine was completely free. I don't think you can beat free. <laughs> Alrighty, dupe number three. I saw this gorgeous, gorgeous stone looking uh, candle holder and from a few different stores, they were all $68. And now I'm going to show you how I recreate recreated mine. I'm taking these styrofoam balls. These are in a package of three. Now I only had a very small one. I didn't want to go ahead and buy a bigger one, but of course a larger one will look uh, better. I'm taking exacto knife and cutting out the round shape on top where the little tea light will fit in. Now my first original thought was to take this aluminum sheet foil from the Dollar Tree or actually a uh, pan sheet cookie sheet from the Dollar Tree. I cut out a kind of a donut shape. I cut the slits in the middle and now I'm taking the uh, kind of a scraper, mud podge scraper and uh, making it smooth. Then I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to take uh, this um, black chalk paint by uh, Apple Barrel and I, or actually pavement, sorry, darker gray. And I am dabbing it with a sponge and after that I'm taking licorice, which is black by Fall Cart and doing the same thing to actually get that stone effect. After that, I am ready to put my thin foil on, actually thin sheath. Then I cut the slits because of course this is round and it's going to be very hard to just push it down like that without making any kind of folds. So on a few spots you will see me cutting and uh, making folds. Also I'm using a hot glue to attach it. Now this turned out well. I mean, I don't mind it at all. It's not exactly like an inspiration piece, but I think it still looks beautiful enough to be displayed somewhere. Um, Tell me your thoughts about this one. I know it is a little bit different. The tin, um, tin sheet around is not as smooth, of course, like original piece, but I think it still looks beautiful. And imagine if you're using a larger styrofoam ball, it will look even better. But then um, I decided to show you another way to get the similar look without using the thin foil. So you take that off peel off all the hot glue that was left over there. And after that, um, I actually went ahead and gotten this um, um, silver brushed metal um, acrylic paint, and then I just painted that rim. So now this will be painted, opposed to having anything else put on it. This is how it looks like, and it gives a similar effect. Honestly, I cannot tell you which one I like more. Uh, looking at this one, I really like that it's nice and smooth and looks really beautiful. But on the other hand, I really like the other one too. So I would like to hear from you guys. What do you think? Which one is better and which one would you maybe try? Okay, now let's see how I did. So theirs was $68 for a set of three and mine was 30 cents. <laughs> so I think it is definitely worth it.
If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Yelena. I am stay-at-home mom of two kids. I love crafting. I love doing DIY projects and everything that I do is on a budget, mostly rustic and farmhouse style. But as you can see, I try some other styles as well. Uh, if something like that interests you, I would invite you to watch my other videos, uh, look over my channel, and if you like it enough to stick around. Um, if you like my videos and this video, please give it, give it a thumbs up. It means so much to me and also uh, helps my channel getting promoted on YouTube. And if you're new, I would like for you to subscribe with the notification bell on so you don't miss any of my future videos. Subscription is completely free. I'm on a social media on Instagram, Pinterest and Facebook. Come say hi, see what I created. My regular Apple times are Tuesdays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. But as you can see, sometimes that changes if I participate in some collaborations or challenges. Alrighty, let's go ahead and um, start with dupe number four. Okay, this candle holder uh, was beautiful. It was not really expensive. It was $10.50, but I knew I could recreate it for way less. So I took um, a glass jar that was left over from some candle and a raffia that I had on hand. I'm uh, cutting several strands of the raffia that's going to be a little bit uh, longer than the length of this jar. And I'm um, hot gluing one end on the bottom of the candle. Now first I put seven. You have to make sure you have even number and you'll see later why. Then I'm taking three longer strands and I am just lightly... Um, braiding them. I am not making it too tight and then I'm going to uh, hot glue that braid on a bottom portion of this um, candle holder or actually this jar let's call it glass jar and I actually did uh, two rounds. After I was done with that now before starting uh, to glue the second uh, braid in the middle you take two strands that we actually hot glued earlier and you crisscross it and then you go ahead and glue hot glue this braid on um, right above it so crisscross needs to be in between two braids you see me doing it over here i know it's hard to explain but you see what i'm doing over here so the crisscross will be in between uh, two braid um, lines or circles okay this is how it looks like and now i'm gonna do the same cut off the axis and do the same thing on the top and this is how it turned out super super cute and super simple my only thing is if you have hula skirt i would recommend you to use that uh opposed to raffia because it has less strands um you know peeling off raffia is kind of like that it peels off it will be easier to work with and look more neat but i did not have any so this is how mine turned out i really like it it is very fall like and have a fall feeling okay so theirs was 10.50 and mine was 30 cents definitely worth it and if you want to achieve this color you can definitely use any stain or maybe put it in a coffee um, brewed coffee before you uh, start putting it all together Alrighty, last dupe for today the uh, dupe number five i saw these candle holders and i absolutely love them the moment i saw them now let me tell you they were $19.99, not too bad, but I decided uh, first to try it with the clay. It didn't work out for me for some reason. It looked beautiful when I started, but then the day after the clay broke after it dried, so I started all over again. So I'm taking this Nutella lid, plastic lid, and I'm taking this um, cardboard piece. It was, I think, left over from a roll of tape or something like that, and I'm hot gluing that in the middle of the lid. Now I'm taking this uh, speckling from the Dollar Tree and starting to dab. So first, actually, uh, first coat that you apply, it always needs to be smudged. So the second coat has something to apply on or actually stick to. So after um, first coat, uh, when I'm doing the second coat, I'm pretty much just like putting uh, larger quantities and just pressing it down. Now, the trick to work with this to make it as smooth as possible is to have clean hands. So I had to wash my hands often and with clean hands, you can really smooth it out as much as possible. Now, this will not be perfectly smooth and that's okay with me because, you know, I like rustic and this will look more like, um, you know, it was made out of stone and I really, really like it. I didn't want to paint it any color, but of course that's optional. I love how this turned out. It is so beautiful, so elegant, 
and it was so inexpensive. So tell me in the comments down below your thoughts about this one. Would you paint it? Would you use something else to create it with? And then also let's go ahead and see how much I saved. So theirs was not as bad to begin with, $19.99, and mine was completely free. So tell me in the comments down below which one was your favorite. Make sure to check out my description box for the link for the playlist and Yami's channel. And thank you so much for being here. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.